10 rounds. Super lightweight, Saul Mambi in the blue trunks and Monroe Brooks in the red. Both fighters at the crossroads. Monroe Brooks says if he loses this fight, he's going to quit boxing forever. Mambi did not commit himself. He's not looking or not even thinking about losing. He's thinking about just tonight. He wants to win, and if he does win, he wants another shot at his old title, his super lightweight title. And he will challenge Leroy Haley if he does. If Haley is successful tonight against Giovanni Giuseppe Jimenez, that is. Mammy just learned, landed a good one-two right hand on Monroe Brooks. And let me tell you something, John, these guys really want this fight. These guys have been after, after, after each other for a long time. They finally get it. That's what Brooks said. Brooks said that yesterday afternoon. I had a little chat with him, and he said that uh, he's been after Mammy for a long time. He's finally getting him, thanks to Don King. Our referee, by the way, is Jackie Keogh. Former boxer, I remember Jackie Keogh when he fought uh, Randy Turpin. That's before your time, Larry. Way before my time, John. Johnny Mammy, Saul Mammy is a, a veteran fighter, and uh, I've, I've watched Mammy fight a long time, and he's very cagey, and uh, Monroe Brooks is in a fight tonight, and uh, you can't sell Monroe Brooks out because I've seen him fight, and he, he puts it together too, John. Monroe Brooks, 29 years old, from Inglewood, California, a native of Fort Worth, Texas. A record of 47 wins. He's got six losses, four draws. He's knocked out 33 of the men he has beaten. So Mambi is 35 years old. He comes to the Bronx in New York City. He's won 32. He's lost 13. He has five draws, and he's knocked out 14. So the knockout puncher up there, Larry, at least according to the record, is Monroe Brooks. 33 out of 47. Yes, he is. He's a much better puncher than Sao Mammy, but Mammy can go the distance, and this is one I, I have watched Mammy over the years. He, he can't survive. And this is a, a boxer against the puncher. The puncher is Brooks, and the boxer is Mammy. Good. Good right hand, John by Mammy. He landed on the left just before that, too, Larry. Yes, he did. Mammy is starting to put his punches together, John, and uh, this is something I haven't seen him do in a while. He's going 10 rounds tonight. It's been a long time since he's gone 10 rounds. He's been fighting 15 round fights. He had six defenses of his title before he lost it, and they were all 15 round fouls. So he has to change his pace, I guess, doesn't he, Larry? Yes, he did, John. He had to come out here a little faster and uh, work this guy's style because uh, the fight is not going to go 15 rounds. So he got to get his all in in 10 rounds or less. Does that bother you mentally? Well, it bothers him mentally because he's not champion anymore, and he wants to try to redeem himself and uh, get back on the right track. I know he wants that shot at Leo Reese. He's a real carpetbagger of boxing. John, one thing I've never seen this old man do is come out here and start early. He came out in that first round and really started the fight. He's landing good punches going into the second round. Well, he used to pace himself. He said this, uh, Larry, in the, in the chat we had with him. He said that he used to pace himself in 15 round bouts, he'd take his time the first three, four rounds and uh, try to work out a blueprint for himself. But now, with the 10 round distance, that's what I meant before, he's got to fight a different kind of a pace. His mammy's a good fighter. He's uh, a veteran, and he's been out there. He fought Durant, he fought everybody, and uh, he's in a fight tonight because he's got Monroe Brooks don't like him. Both of them on board, real world-class fighters all the way down the line, and they proved they're good fighters because neither Monroe nor Monroe to say neither Monroe Brooks or Saul Mambi have any marks on it. And that's yeah. it. Saul Mambi is really throwing punches, John. He's landing good punches. He hurt Monroe Brooks, and, and they landing good jabs. And this is something I haven't seen in Mambi in a long time. He really, really wants to just land another beautiful hard right hand on Monroe Brooks. Watch what he does as he lands his punch. He gets out of danger. He gets out of range of any punch that Brooks might be thinking about throwing. He's doing a good boxing job, and he's dropping that right hand. He's getting good combinations of Brooks. No knockdown. He was off balance. What saw man we got Monroe Brooks down is reaching and lunging because he's landing good punches, and Monroe Brooks don't like that. He's trying to get it back, John. Brooks is off stride, Larry. He's off stride. He's not used to the ring yet, as I say. So man is a very good fighter. He's a cagey fighter. He smothers a lot of punches that it looks like they land and don't really land. He's a real veteran, John. He's a classic boxer. So 
Tom Lambie for Roberto Duran for $3,000, Larry. Yeah, that's when time was hard, John. <laughs> Boy, that's, uh, that's very little money for fighting Roberto Duran. So but he got a big payday when he fought uh, Obesia and Wangpa. He got $270,000 for that one. You, you have a fight coming up. You're going to get a lot more money for it. We'll talk about that a little later, maybe, Larry. Aren't you glad you were born when you were born? Yeah, Johnny. I <laughs> wouldn't change nothing. These guys here, John, is really fighting. Some men are really showing a lot of determination that he won his title back. And Mamro Brooks trying to keep him from getting that. These guys are really going at it. Right. Let's get to the round. In the round two. Round three, Mamro Brooks, Red, and Saul Mambi in the blue. Referee, Jackie Keel. John Condon and Larry Holmes, the heavyweight champion of the world at ringside in Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio. Tom Mammy is smothering a lot of punches. Ran a good right hand that time. He smothered a lot of Monroe Brooks' punches. And he really fighting like he really want that title back, John. Yes, he did. He is. Fighting a smart fight, too, Larry. He's not gambling with uh, Brooks. He gets his licks in there, and he backs off and takes a look. That's right, John. You know, all the years that I've known Saul Mamby, I've never seen him fight like this today. He really wants that title back. You're right. He's more aggressive now than I have ever seen him, and I've seen him in a lot of his fights. Left hook by him. Showing a lot of confidence, John, and sometimes that can pick apart, though, you know, but he cannot ever overconfidence yourself in the ring. Well, I don't think I don't think he'll get careless. He's not that type of fighter. He has respect for his opponents. He's got to have some respect for Monroe Brooks. He's knocked out 33 of the 47 men he has beaten. He's only lost six bouts in his career. Man, he's landing a good another good right hand and a left hook behind on Monroe. Another good right hand. Another good right hand on him. He's really fighting, John. All series. Good combination of punches, my man. Now, Brooks laid off last year, Larry. He didn't fight in 1981. He's only had two fights this year, and he's lost one of them. So that layoff last year might be affecting him. You know, John, I've seen him fight in uh, Texas before for Cooney, and he really looked good, but he didn't win the fight, but he really looked good. The game fighter. He lost to uh, Ronnie Shields. Ronnie Shields. But right previous to that, he decisioned uh, Danny Favela in the 10-round bout. But he was off that whole year, and a year out of a fighter's life is a long time, Larry. Yeah. Monroe felt that he wasn't getting the break that he deserved, and uh, he, got, he decided to take a rest because then come back. I asked him about that yesterday, and he said he's back, and thank God for Don King, and that's why I'm back. Don do give a lot of fighters the opportunity to score. He gave Leroy Haley the opportunity to take over the title away from Saul Mammy. He's given Monroe Brooks the opportunity not to give Saul Mammy that opportunity to get back in there with Leroy Haley. Yeah, Mammy lost his last fight to Haley, and here he is back in the ring and just on the brink of another title shot if he wins this one. So a good fight right here tonight, right here in Cleveland, Cleveland Arena. Uh, seeing the old guy trying to come back and be young again. <laughs> We're in round four. Sal Mambi in the blue trunks, Monroe Brooks in the red. Brooks, after a year's layoff in 1981, has had two fights this year, won one and lost one, and here he is trying to beat Saul Mambi, who lost his title to Leroy Haley. He wants another shot at Haley. If he wins tonight, he's got a pretty good chance of getting it. Saul Mammy is beating to beating Monroe Brooks to the to the jab, without boxing him, circling side to side. He's doing what he gotta do, John, to win the fight. Feigning him and sticking the jab in there, right hand, left hook like that. Got out a little trouble then. Brooks didn't follow it up. Mammy missed the punch, lowered his head. He didn't see Brooks where Brooks was at all, but Brooks didn't take advantage of it. Mammy is a very awkward dog to fight or two. John. He's not one of those tight fighters to stay there. You throw punches at him, he ducks on them. You throw him, he blocks them. 
comes back with his own so very difficult fighter. Good left hook by Bailey has knocked him off balance. Pick him up with it, Larry. Yes, he did, John. on Mamby uh, by some of the boxing people around the country is that he was a dull fighter, at least for five or six rounds. He didn't do anything, but he's certainly not dull. Good right hand by Mamby. Uh, watch, solid right hand by Mamby. Mamby got him hurt, John. Just hit him with a left hook, another left hook. And they say Mamby is dull. He's not dull tonight, Johnny. That's what I said. Certainly not tonight. Still doing the smart thing, Larry. He's getting those punches across, and he's not gambling. He's getting them in. He's taking his time. He's fighting a real methodical fight. Yes, he is, John. He's really putting on the show here tonight. He gets under. He gets under the right hand, John. He's just taking it easy right now. Set him up for another punch. He's reading Monroe Brooks very well. On five, Sal Mamby in the blue and Monroe Brooks in the red. Referee Jackie Keel. And Mamby all the way in the first four rounds. He stung Brooks a number of times. He's outboxed him. He's outclassed him all the way. Brooks is now desperate. First, Brooks is trying to get across. Some kind of a knockout punch. Either hand, he's throwing both hands. Mamby has been able to avoid them. Brooks hasn't come close. Brooks is always dangerous, though. He's got that heavy punch. Mamby can take a very good shot. If he can go the distance with Roberto Duran, I don't feel that anybody's just going to walk out there and knock him out. Right. So another like Bruce Curry. And good right hand. He's hurt. John, he's hurt. Monroe is hurt. He stopped him in his tracks with that right hand. Yes, he, he did. Just stood there with both feet planted on the ground, and he dropped his hands. He stopped him dead in his tracks with that punch. He's hurt. He's hurt, John. Mamby got him hurt, John. Right here over above us right now. The Monroe's still strong. You can be, you got, he's still he tried dangerous. To, I'm sorry, Larry. He tried to sucker Mamby into a punch that time. He stood in the corner and made out like that he was hurt a lot more than he was. Mamby went for it. He came at him, but... Brooks did not get the punch across. Right. Monroe hit uh, Mamby with two low blows, Johnny, that the referee didn't see that time. Mamby is fighting a real good fight, John. He's, he, may, he impresses me today. He can't stand still, Larry. He's got to move. He's got to do what he did in the early rounds. He's got to move around. He can't yes, stand he there and slug it out. He's really tailing. Monroe Brooks now with both hands, the left hand and the right hand. Both are scoring. Maybe what, Larry? Brooks is tired. Yes, he is. I mean, taking the punches that he's taking tonight, I guess that do have some kind of effect on you. But he's still dangerous because I've seen him fight like this 10 rounds very hard. Mamie's on the outside, John, he's boxing again, sticking his jab, tying him up when he comes in, and he's trying to set him up again with an, another one-two punch. He's giving uh, Brooks a boxing lesson, Larry. Yes, he is. He's not a big puncher. He's only got 14 knockouts on his record. 14 win knockouts and 32 wins. But he's, he's landing with both hands, and he's stinging Brooks with both hands. Yes, he is, John. Mamie's sticking the jab, and he's stepping to the... To the right, to throw the right hand, and Brooks don't know where he's at. <laughs> Sal Mamby in blue, Monroe Brooks in red, scheduled for 10 rounds. Mamby doing a masterful job of boxing, and he's been catching Brooks with both hands, stinging him. He 
said he wanted that title back, John, and he's fighting like he really wanted tonight. He's throwing good punches, combinations. He's got to keep moving, though, Larry. He can't stand still. He's in excellent physical shape. He always is. He never stops training, Saul Zambi. He's always in good shape. So he can do what he wants to do. His body and his mind are together. Yes, it is. Maybe he's just standing on the outside now. John's sticking that jab. He's looking for that right hand. Like, there's the right hand. High on the head, though, John. Just, you should just keep flicking that jab the way he's doing it right now. I think Mammy wants to knock this guy out because the way these guys have been going at each other over the years, I think they build up some animosity between each other. You think they dislike each other? Yes, they do. Uh, good one, too, by Saul Mammy. Mammy's punches are not that hard. They're, they're fairly soft punches. They hurt, but they're not real one-punch knockout punches. Good right hand, good right counter with a left jab following. He said Monroe works with a succession of lefts and rights. He staggered him a number. Another good right hand. Monroe Brooks did not fear Manny's punches, John. He was just walking to him, just taking the punches. But he can't, he can't continue to take punches. I don't care how hard Manny hits. Manny used to going the 15 round distance, so he can pace himself accordingly. Mammy's teeing off again, Johnny. Combination, left hook and right hand. And Brooks is just standing there and taking him. Yes, he is. Mammy was a harder hitter. Brooks would have been out of there a long time ago. Yes, he would. Again, I must express myself, this is the first time that I've seen Mammy come out fighting as hard as he's doing. Good left jab, another good left jab. Looks like a guy on the way up tonight, Larry, rather than a guy who's already been there, holding the title. Fought all over the world, fought in 18 different countries, fought the other guy's backyard throughout his whole career. And came back a winner in most cases. And maybe the world fighter, he traveled all around the world to fight people in their own backyard. And uh, you got to give him a lot of credit. A lot of people here in the States do not know him, but he's a great fighter. He fought everybody, and he paid his dues. That's it. That's the round 10 points. It's a proportionally less. Here we go. Round seven. Sal Mambi in the blue trunks. Monroe Brooks in the red. All Mambi has to do now, Larry, is to continue to do what he's been doing. Yes, he's they, they in there, Johnny. They traded. I'm sorry for stepping on you. But they, okay. <laughs> these guys are here trading. I'm excited. <laughs> The big fighters got excited, Larry. Yes, John. <laughs> we still do. Maybe just made the two left took that time. <laughs> if Mammy can continue to fight like he's fighting now, John, I don't see no reason why he can't get that title back. Maybe got hit with a good left took by Monroe. So a solid punch, probably the best punch that Monroe has thrown so far in the fight. Landed solid. Good left hook by Mamby. You said though, Larry, Mamby takes a good punch. Good, 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 good left hook by Mamby. But Brooks going away. <laughs> Mamby just has to be very, very careful. He can't get careless. Because Brooks is still strong. Brooks has the power to do it. He's a knockout puncher. Mammy's still teeing off, though. Uh, Johnny taking his time, hitting with the combinations. But Brooks is still getting, staying right on top of Sauer Mammy, making him fight. I'm amazed that how relaxed Mammy is, Larry. Yes, he is. Mammy just told him to keep the punches up. He's kind of hit him low. Good punch by Mammy. Good left hook by Mammy. Walks back in there, firing the punches again, landing on Mamby. 
Brooks is just walking into the punches, John. You have no fear of Saul Mammy's punches. He's just standing there, right? He's hanging them as a Mammy throw. Yeah. He's probably saying to himself, this guy can't hit. In the meantime, he's getting smothered with punches. You cannot win a fight taking punches like this, John. The fighter, the punches accumulate and eventually they tell on you. Good right hand by Judge Scorecards. Everybody, I'm Bill Dance. Hey, Sal Mandy in blue and Monroe Brooks in red. Referee Jackie Keel. John Condon and Larry Holmes at Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio, where the main event tonight will be Irish Leroy Haley defending his title against Giovanni Giuseppe Jimenez of Italy. Good left hook by a man. He's boxing good, John. He's standing on the outside using a jab, and when uh, Brooks comes in, he smothers his punches. You know, in his last fight with Leroy Haley, uh, Larry, he said that he said, I don't know if I complain, but my corner led me to believe that I was ahead in the fight. And I took it a kind of easy in the last few rounds, and I made a horrible mistake. Since then, he's changed the corner quite a bit, I see. Well, that's one of the smartest things he's done. I told him to get rid of that one guy he had a long time ago. Uh, Good right here. I told him to get rid of that guy that he had. I didn't think it was that good of a corner. And since he did that, he's really improved. Well, he's got some good men in there now. Bobby Lewis, Bill Present, and Al Smith. They're fighting, John. They're putting on a good show here tonight, right here on DK STN. I just, I have to disagree with you on the knockout, Larry. I don't think that Mamby is looking for a knockout. I think he just wants to do his job. I, don't, I think that he knows that he's really not a knockout puncher and that it's not really possible for him to knock out Brooks unless he gets a little lucky. But I think he's just, he just wants to, wants to punish him, hit him as often as he can. And he's been doing a pretty good job at it. Right now, Johnny, Mammy just wants to take a breather. He's just sticking the jab, staying on the outside, just to stay ahead in the round. He's not really trying to get in a, a war, trade any punch. He's doing a very good job. He's very smart. Actually, it's been an easy fight for, for uh, Mammy, hasn't it? Yes, it has. He's not even breathing hard, and he's been here before, and uh, I give him all the rounds, John. I would, too. I would, too, all the way. And he's been in complete control all the way through. Brooks is mad, he comes, walks at him, and uh, says, let's go, let's fight. Well, he's a little mixed up in the head right now because he can't do what he wants to do. What he wants to do is lay that big right hand right. on Mamby, and Mamby is just not letting him do it. Monroe throws good left hooks, John, but he wasn't, haven't been able to throw a good left hook on Saul man. Come on. <laughs> These guys are fighting, John. I mean. Ian Sal Mappy in blue, Monroe Brooks in red. The referee is Jackie Keel. It's been Sal Mappy all the way, and it's been a pleasure to watch him. Monroe is putting a lot of pressure on Mammy, but Mammy's boxing and sticking the jab, moving on the outside, and tying him up as he come in. Mammy occasionally sneaks one of those uppercuts in there, uh, John. Monroe Brooks keeps his word. And he loses his life. Good punch on the end of Monroe Brooks' career right here. Unless he gets lucky between now and the end of the 10th round. But he did say that he would retire if he lost this fight because there are no more big money fights for him and he's got other things in mind that he can do to make a living. One thing about Monroe Brooks, uh, he's fighting hard and he shouldn't be ashamed if he loses this fight because he's a good fighter. He's fighting a pro out there. He's not fighting anybody don't know what they're doing. He's told so man we can fight. He's put his best effort in it, into it, Larry, and you can't ask for more than that. That's right. 
What those mammoths should do now, John, is just stick the jab and get in and out and don't get in any wars because any, anything can happen with the training. That's exactly right, Larry. What he should do right now is have a good time. Jab and move and dance around the ring. He's got the fight sewed up. Just jab and move, box him, and just keep boxing until the final bell. Look like Sal maybe is having a good time doing what he's doing, Johnny. But he's taking chances and That's getting hit. That's what I mean, Larry. Don't take the gamble. Yeah. Monroe is throwing punches pretty low there, too, Johnny. Well, that's one way of evening the score, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get caught. Started. He can't get started right from the beginning of the bout. There's nothing that he really wants to do that he's been able to do. Well, one thing about Mamby, he's tying Monroe up. Every time he gets close to it, he throws a few punches, tie him up, and wait for the ref to come in and break it. This is smart, John. Good, good right hand to the body by Monroe that time, John. This is something he don't want to do. Get in a war right now. He's way ahead. Don't take any chances. Good right hand by him. Good left hook by Mandy. Double up by that hook. Yes, he did. Good left hook. Good. Hurt again, John. Good left hook. I'm Bob Biccioni, editor and publisher of Penthouse. Top Mandy in the low Monroe Brooks in the red. Brooks knows what he has to do. Desperately going to try to do it. And what Mamby should do is just jab and move around the ring. He's all the way home. Mamby just laid another good fight here. These guys are going to fight, John, because this, they want to close this show. These Mamby. guys are going to put it on. Mamby shaking his head at him like, let's go on. Let's, let's do it. Let's have it. Mamby is cool, John. He's still boxing. He always pours. Good right here. Good left hook. Good right here. Two left hooks by Mandy, and he stops Monroe Brooks from his backs every time he does that. Brooks does not get down. As I said before, Mandy's punches are not that heavy. There's a lot of them, but they're not that heavy. I don't know if Mandy's punches is not that heavy or just Bro Monroe Brooks is just that strong. He's taking good punches. I've seen him take punches before. Very determined fighter. Mammy's not known to be a puncher, and this probably the case on with Monroe Far. He's not worrying about his punching ability. Well, good, know. good right hand left hook by Sal Mammy again, John. Oh, it's going through Monroe Brooks's head right now. This is it for me. I got to do it. Good left now. hook. I'm sorry, John. It's okay, Larry. <laughs> like I said, I'm getting excited here. <laughs> Every time Brooks thinks he has something going, Mammy comes up with a left hand and a right hand and takes it all away. Yes. If Mammy would have fought Leroy Healy like this, Johnny, he would not have lost the title. Wait, no way. It had to be, uh, it had to be something going on in that corner, Larry. He got some bad advice somewhere. Good left hook by Mammy. He hollered out a hole that time, Johnny, and he came back with two punches. Got a right hand in there. Good left two, Johnny. He almost went down for that. Yes, he did, Johnny. Good left hook by Sal. Brooks is hurt, Johnny. Yes, he hurt. Yes, he he just fighting on this thing. Determination. Mamby wants to fight him. He does not want to box him. He doesn't want to play it safe. He wants to win this fight big. He wants to look good and finish strong. 17 seconds to go to, and he's really. Pouring it on, John. They really fighting tonight, right here on Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. Good left took by Saul. Good fight. Mammy looks like he could go 20 rounds tonight. Right? Yes, John is here. Guys are fighting. And I don't think there's any question in the minds of any of the people that you're looking at right now as to who is the winner of that fight. Johnny, the people are standing about out of the out of the seats and they really enthused the press with this fight.
right. I'm impressed. Have a look at that, Larry. Left hook right there. He landed him. Monroe was hurt. Maybe tried to capitalize on it, but he couldn't capitalize. But great fight, John. Both all fighters. The way, all the way down the line. A great exhibition by Sal Mandy. That's right. And a, a lot of credit goes to Monroe Brooks, too, because he did his best. You can't ask for any more than that. He tried desperately to win the fight by a knockout in the late rounds because he must have known that he was behind the points. Just couldn't do it. Mandy, I think, what the best fight of his, his whole career. Nice going, Sal. Jim comes over, shakes hands with Larry Holmes. And Monroe Brooks is a disappointed young man as he looks over the... And he says they gave him his damn money's worth, and he's right, he certainly did. That's Carl King in the ring. Don King's son. These guys are great fighters, John. They put on a tremendous show here tonight, and uh, I'm just happy. Blauen Ecke ist es zwei.